Hey everyone, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and today I'm talking about property management. So a lot of people ask me if I manage my properties in-house, if I have a property management company, how I do all of that. So I'm gonna talk about how that has evolved over time. Right now we do have our property management in-house in my office, but I am not the one doing all the work. I would be miserable if I did that. So we do have systems set up and we're trying some new software out as well. As we speak, um, I am trying out um, door loop to see how it works. There's a few things that we've been wanting to do with our property management that we can't do. And hopefully this will help us out. We'll see how it goes. And um, I have a lot of help with staff in my office too. So I could not do what I do without them. So thank you to them who put up with me. <laughs> I right, love the likes, love the comments, love the shares, um, love seeing new subscribers as well. And um, this you're looking at right now was rental property number seven. And this was kind of the last property that I managed myself with my wife. And when I say I manage it, I actually meant my wife did most of the work. But I bought my first rental in 2010, um, bought 16 single family rentals through 2015. And up until number seven, I had managed them all myself slash my wife and I take credit for it. Um, and it was okay, but it got to a point where things ran smoothly. You had no issues. It was great. No problems. But um, if there were problems, it took up a lot of time. I was very busy. I didn't have time. So we decided to look for property management. Now, at that time I had my own team. I was running everything myself and my good friend, Justin had actually come to work with me and he decided he wanted to try property management. So he was my property manager for a few years and he did a great job, fantastic job, got stuff rented, didn't have any problems. Um, but eventually I bought more and more properties. He got busier. He was doing other real estate stuff, other things. And he decided I don't want to do property management anymore. At least he didn't want to do my property management anymore. And so we had to find a new option. And kind of one of the other issues that came along is after I was buying single family rentals, I started by commercial real estate, which is what this is right here a commercial office building. I still have. And, um, most property managers won't manage commercial real estate or don't know how. So you have to either decide if you want to use a property management company that can manage all of them, which are hard to find or have one for commercial, one for residential, or maybe you do it yourself and have a mix. And what we had ended up doing, or I ended up doing was on a lot of the commercial, um, properties, I would manage them myself. I'd find tenants. I'd rent them with help from my office, of course, and residential, we ended up having another property manager do. So we actually had some agents who came over to my office, blue steel real estate when I started it. And, um, they were our property managers for a couple of years that went okay. Not amazing. I think I'm kind of a control freak and just want things done a certain way. And if they don't get done that way, it, it can irritate me a little bit, but there were some things that we wanted to, to have done differently. And then they kind of wanted to move on themselves too, I think. So it worked out mutually that we parted ways and we decided to try a different property management company for my residential properties. Again, that went okay. Not great. There's some, um, disagreements on repairs being made and what was done and, um, our notifications and different things. And eventually we brought our property management back in house. And here's another commercial property that I bought, um, that I still own as well. Fun property. I actually showed this to, um, some tenants this morning. It's half leased, half vacant. It's been that way a long time, but it makes money that way. And if we get the whole thing leased, it makes a whole lot of money. So commercial is a different beast. And you really have to make sure if you are using property management or you're renting commercial yourself, you understand how it works, the triple net leases, utilities, um, the terms, options. There's a lot more that goes into it. So residential is definitely simpler, but commercial can be a, an amazing way to invest as well. So right now, how we have it set up is we brought the residential back in house. Um, Nikki, who's my project manager and helps with the flips and everything and runs the office too, helps with property management as well. Um, John, my front desk person, uh, helps with it too, helps with insurance and, um, keeping track of things and leases and different things. And then we recently hired just like a showing agent, um, someone who can show houses, who speaks English and Spanish and can show the properties. Uh, they don't have to be licensed to do that as long as they're not negotiating price or terms or things like that. They can show the properties. People can submit their background checks, things like that. We can review them and set up the leases and collect rent, things like that. So it's actually been working pretty well. It's definitely a little bit more work, but it has been working well, bringing it in house. 
and I probably complain less that way as well, which is good. <laughs> but it also has brought in some issues and some things. So um, when you are bringing property management in-house, that means you're keeping track of all the accounting and different things and utilities and all of that. So that's one big bonus of having a property manager is a lot of times they're making your mortgage payment for you. If you want it set up that way, you don't have to. Um, they have control of your bank accounts sometimes if you want to. They're keeping deposits for you. They're paying utilities, paying repairs, things like that. Uh, making sure you have money in your accounts, all of that stuff that um, if you're really busy and doing it all yourself, you can kind of forget about and that can be bad if you forget about that stuff. So I have people who can help with that, but at the same time, um, we can't take credit cards. Um, there's some limitations. We don't always have things tracked correctly. Um, we use a lot of Excel sheets, which you know maybe they don't get updated as often as they should or, or quite aren't always quite accurate um usually they are but you know when you have a lot of things going on it just makes it a little tougher so that's why we're trying um door loop the property management software and seeing how it will okay so this is door loop and this is a sponsored post um and ironically they came to me and said hey uh would you like to show us on your channel promote us and at that time we were looking for property management software. Like I said, we're just kind of using Excel and different stuff. We don't have a, like a actual program meant for property management. And I said, you know what, how about I try you out and then we'll see how it works. And then if it does good, then I'll talk about it with my viewers. And that's what I'm doing right now. So we have gotten set up. We're not like fully engaged in it yet, but so far it's been pretty cool. And maybe I'll do a follow-up video later on talking about how it's worked after a couple of months and he, pros, cons, things like that. But one of the major things this can do that we wanted to do, and I don't know if it's always a good thing, but it's accepting credit cards for rent. So legally you can accept credit cards for rent. Almost all pro property management companies do do it, but we weren't set up to do that. So we could take cash, we could take checks, um, not credit cards though. So this will allow us to take credit cards. We set it up through Stripe, which is like a credit card processing. I already had a Stripe account because of my investormore.com blog and coaching and different things I do there. So that was fairly easy. And then we are able to put um, all our properties on here, our lease terms, our dates, um, you know, with commercial property, we can put on here when lease uh, increases come up, right? So with most of my commercial properties, there's built in lease increases after a year, two years, whatever. And a lot of times we're supposed to have those alerts set up, but we miss them sometimes. So now those should automatically come up, tell us when the lease has come up. They'll tell us if people are behind, tell us how much they're behind, if they're paying all their um, fees and dues, and they do all that automatically, which is nice. You can also do the screening online through here. I've always used TransUnion before, and um, we'll see how smoothly this goes. I don't think we've done anything yet with it, but we can also, um, implement that too. Always screen your tenants. Always check that out. We always screen our tenants. Um, I used to use my gut when I first did it myself and my gut wasn't very good. So <laughs> there's a, you realize, you think, oh, I can tell a good person. I can tell if someone's lying. And then after you're in property management or, or rental properties for a little while, you realize, no, you, I can't. There's some people who are just really good at that and it's not always easy to tell. So um, I put my calculator here too because it's got some late rents it's showing down here. But those aren't really late. Um, I guess we just, we had those set up last month and we didn't clear them out. This is the first month we're starting with them being late or next month will be the first month we start with everything being late or not. Hopefully not everything is late with everything showing if rent is late or not. And then we can see there, hey, who's late, who's paid, who hasn't paid. That will be really nice as well without having to go through the Excel sheets and see and, and, and do all that. Um, I can pull different reports like this report here that shows like my rent rolls and what all my rents are and even the size of the property and deposit and all kinds of cool stuff on there, the balance. So we can do profit and loss reports on here. There's all kinds of fun stuff. Um, and like I said, there's reports, profit and loss, owner statements, balance sheets, cash flow statement, all kinds of different things. And you can do it by property or you can do it by everything or the company name it's under. So it's pretty cool because with my flips, sometimes I have rentals in my flips as well, which seems weird, but I have been flipping multifamily properties. And so that company 
you know, I can look at separately from my true rentals and there's all kinds of different um, reports and different things that I have not dug into yet, but there's cool stuff here. I am a fan of reports and numbers, so that's cool for me. I'm not a fan of entering data and different things. So I try to hand off the things I'm not a fan of and I focus on the things I am a fan of and that works out pretty well. Kind of like my only fans room I had in a flip once. And that wasn't, that was actual fans that blew air in a room. That's my funny joke. All right. <laughs> so we'll see how door loop goes. We'll see how it works. Um, our account is freaks are nice enough to give us one. If you have a few properties, I think it's pretty affordable. The more properties you get, the more expensive it gets. And, um, but so far the, the one downside to it so far is that it has taken a while to get set up and approval for the bank accounts and Stripe and different things and all that. But once we get all that done, I think it will be pretty smooth. So that's taken a little while, but they've been really good to work with us. They'll hop on the phone with my assistant, not me, because I don't want to <laughs> do all that and um, walk them through how to set it up and do everything. So it's been um, good on that front. All right, if you're interested in trying out Door Loop, you can click on the link on the screen. You can sign up for a free demo if you want, check out their website, whatever you want to do. They have many different packages. Um, it's very affordable for a few rentals and the more rentals you have, the more expensive it gets and um, the more involved it can get as well. But there's lots of different options there. So we'll probably have a follow up on this as well, saying how it's gone after um, a few months and see how it works. But just the ability to accept credit cards should be really nice. So if you want to check it out, click on the link here or I'll have a link in the description down below too. All right, so this is my liquor store mini mart that I bought along with the building and that's also one that we manage kind of the store we run as well. It pays rent to the building. There's apartments upstairs. And like I said, my staff does credit checks, can show it, do things like that. And um, that's how we have our property management set up. It's been working pretty well. So I know not everybody can afford to have staff and people working for them. But if you do have an office, you do have a pretty sizable real estate company, in-house property management, um, it's not just about the money it saves. Cause like I said, property management is actually relatively cheap. A lot of times you'll pay 10% of rent, sometimes even less than that. We're paying less than that with some of these companies. Uh, maybe you're paying more on repairs cause they take a little bit cut there. Maybe you've got a leasing fee, things like that that can cut into it a little bit. But for me, it's just the control and <laughs> making sure we have good tenants in there. Things are getting rented quickly and you're not getting tenants will trash a property. Like that's, that's probably the most dangerous part of rental properties is getting really bad tenants and going through evictions, especially if you're in certain areas where it's hard to evict people and the courts aren't on your side. And this is an older video. This happened a while ago, but they still haven't fixed our fire hydrant, which someone had mentioned in a video before. Supposedly they're doing it next week. We'll see. Um, there's a truck that ran into the fire hydrant, <laughs> but, um, Important things to know about property management. Like I said, always screen your tenants, try to price properties competitively. So you have multiple tenants to choose from. You're not trying to get like the most expensive people. Cause a lot of times the most expensive tenants, the ones you're willing to pay the most rent are looking for, because nobody else will rent to them and they might have issues. Um, but we'll see how the property management works. We'll see how that goes. Um, we'll probably keep property management in house cause it's going to go, it's been going pretty smoothly. I would say one more thing. The single family homes I have are the easiest to manage by far. We've had tenants in them for years and years and years with no issues. When you start getting into multifamily properties, triplexes, you have more turnover, you have more issues. When you start getting into more units, seven units like the complex, eight units like the Ocho, you run into more issues, more turnover um, on those properties as well. It takes more intensive management for those properties. And then when you get into commercial properties, it can be either way. We've had some um, commercial tenants who need babied and needed, you know, caused some issues, caused some problems. And we've had other commercial tenants who have never caused a problem are the easiest tenants in the world. We don't have to do anything. And a lot of times it's the smaller kind of um, real small storefront or small office where you have the issues in the bigger properties um, where you have less issues with commercial properties. So that's how we manage our properties. That's how it's set up in my office. Um, rental properties have been fantastic for me, an amazing investment. I keep trying to buy more and more. Like I said, we're buying the laundromat 
and car wash coming up here soon, which will kind of be another rental property that I'm renting to my own businesses, which I also love to do, like we did with this store right here. And we've got videos of all of those properties on my channel if you haven't seen them. Every single property I buy, almost all of my rentals, unless they've been rented for a long time and I haven't had a chance to do a video, are on my YouTube channel and you can see them. So, all right, thanks for watching. Love to hear if you guys have used DoorLoop or not, the pros and cons. Um, and how you set up your property management as well. Because while I do things one way, that doesn't mean I'm always doing them the best way and I can't improve. So I'd love to hear what other people are doing too. All right, take care, be back soon.